Let's face it, October never lasts long enough, and once Halloween is over, the season ends with it. So I say we start celebrating now, and what better way to do that than to highlight all the great horror games that creators are making in dreams. This obviously isn't all of them, not even close, so if you have any recommendations for our next list that we haven't covered yet, make sure to leave them in the comments below. The demo for Damnation feels a little PT, with its repeating hallways and everything's totally fine until it's not demeanor. But it's when you turn the corner and the radio starts playing Simon and Garfunkel's The Sound of Silence, Damnation suddenly becomes its own nightmare. And everything that followed got me really excited for this demo to become a full game. I'm actually a little surprised that there aren't more horror games like 3.33 AM made in dreams. Don't get me wrong, it's well made, but the simple paranormal activity pretense of throwing you into a haunted house and making you figure out what to do next just isn't used often enough. But 3.33 AM does exactly that, with just the right amount of jump scares to keep you playing until the very end. Abyss pulls you out of your cryostasis sleep and places you all alone on a space station. Abyss takes a while to get going, in fact you'll spend most of your time just wandering around aimlessly, trying to figure out where to go next. But there's definitely something here. Pushing through to the end reveals a semblance of an actual game, so hopefully we'll see this one get updated sometime soon. The elevator is a great concept that works perfectly in dreams. You're trapped on an elevator and the only thing you can do is pull the lever to close the doors and head on to the next floor. As much as I want to leave the confines of the elevator and explore each floor, the game actually works because you can't. So instead, you'll be peering out into the darkness, hoping that the doors will close before anything jumps out and gets you. When the ghost of Borley Rectory lets you start playing, you find yourself trapped in a basement. Crouching to squeeze through a hole in a wall reveals an entire dungeon made up of underground tunnels. There's platforming, story elements, exploration, and it all looks pretty good. The creator says there are more levels coming soon, so make sure you keep an eye on this one. Astral is a little rough around the edges, but there's no denying that there's a fully realized creation here, all inspired by the insidious series of horror movies. Cutscenes set up the story, your wife is pregnant and you're off to the hospital to be there for the birth of your son, but nothing is as it seems and you'll spend most of your time exploring nightmarish versions of the hospital. Definitely worth checking out. Even Google doesn't know the meaning of Dino Cataptron, and once you play it, you'll be just as confused as Google. But it's a great puzzle game with a horror theme, and the more I played, the more I wanted to see what was next. 
Unfortunately, it's all over pretty quickly, but the ending sequence alone is more than enough to solidify a place on a must-play Dreams horror list. As far as content goes, A Haunted Mansion puts most other dreams to shame. There are impressive cutscenes that tell the story, a fully realized map with a ton of diversity, some really detailed environments, and even a horror-themed train ride. Don't expect any actual scares, as the whole game feels more like a Disney attraction than a horror game. But don't let that deter you. A Haunted Mansion is beautifully executed. Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind is, at least visually, one of the more impressive games on this list. Aliens have invaded your farm, and it's up to you to search for all the hidden notes strewn around the yard. As aliens close in and surround you, your flashlight flickers, and there's a genuine feeling of terror as you try to get away. This is definitely one of my favorites. Clocking in at just a few minutes, Space Unknown is unabashedly an homage to the Aliens franchise. But it's so well done with awesome lighting, sparse but effective voiceovers in Dead Space-like environments that it's a must-play for horror fans. Space Unknown is probably the shortest game on this list, but considering how much we all want Alien Isolation in VR, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the creator considers making a full game out of this one. Keep moving. 